Hey ladies, it's Stu, and I'm back at it again! Yeah, so anyways, in today's video, I've been doing some thinking, and it's, uh, I last left you guys off when there was some strange things going on around my house, and let me tell you, things have not gotten better since. Stu's been, uh, experiencing some paranormal activity. And let me tell you, I've watched enough Ghost Hunters and Scooby-Doo and scary movies to know what steps I need to take next to protect me and my family. I gotta do this to save my family. Okay, so one thing I know that helps banish and exile the evil spirits are some candles. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make some exorcism candles to help get this evil spirit out of my house. So for those of you who are not caught up on the drama, let me fill you in. So a couple months ago, I played with the Ouija board, you know, cause I was bored and I was trying to summon some spirits. It wasn't a good time. Some weird stuff started happening at the house. You know, cabinets were opening. Long story short, my house is on it. I summoned a spirit or something. I don't know what, but some stuff's been happening around the house. That's not normal. So uh, today we're gonna do something about it. I went over to the five below, cause you know Stu's on a budget and you know, that's the place. <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's Archie. What's up, Archie? So anyways, back to the action. Aside from being a discount store, you can find many products. Not sponsored, but it could be. And uh, this is what I got. Scented candle kit. Scented wax candles. Very interesting, too. So, uh, yeah, let's dive in. Wow, that's pretty exclusive content. Instructions. It's really dusty inside. You might want to take a rag and wipe these out. Votives. This one's ribbed. You have these three and they're glass. What is that supposed to smell like? Grape? It smells like plastic. What is this one? Apple? It smells the same as that one. Okay, so maybe you need to open the package. It has your wicks for your candle to light it. And then it comes with this thing. I don't know what that is. Maybe it's to sh push stuff down. All right, let's read the instructions so we don't screw this up. Protect your work table with newspaper or paper towels. I'm not a messy person, it'll be fine. Take the wick and insert it through the wick sustainer. Huh? Wait, three candle jars, seven bags of scented candle wax, one shaping tool, three candle wicks with sustainers. Oh, is that this what this metal thing's a sustainer? I don't know the technical terms. Candle community, can you help me out? Is that a sustainer? Sounds like, it sounds like something that that could be. Take the wick and insert it through the wick sustainer. Well, it's already in, it, it's already attached. Place the wick sustainer in the center of the bottom of the vase and prepare to start pouring your wax. So this stuff is wax, huh? All right. Let me go get some scissors so we can start cutting these things and we'll figure out what color story we want to make these electro uh, exorcism candles. So I got my scissors and uh, yeah, um, so I know certain colors mean certain things in the spirit world. Like, isn't white for purity and purification? And uh, I really, because I know uh, the witch community, 
will tell you certain things like, oh, don't light the black candle. Oh, yellow is for cleansing and different things like that. I didn't do my research, so I'm just gonna kind of guess at uh, what uh, colors can help with certain situations. Yeah, so let me cut this and see. Be careful not to cut your fingers. Yeah, so then, anyways. Wait. Leroy! Archie! Ow! Oh. Who turned down the water? The heck is that? I got a leak? Oh! Oh! What happened? What happened here? Did I do that? open before? I don't remember. So anyways, let's get making these candles. So let's make sure your wick is inside. And then I guess you just pour it. Ah! It does get messy. Okay. Let's go yellow. Oh, it stays in there pretty good. Is it supposed to be scented? I don't smell anything. Pour it in there. Leroy, stop doing that. That is the cat, by the way. <laughs> yeah. I think you're supposed to, like, poke it, and it creates some exotic designs. You ever eat that Dippin' Dots ice cream? I hate that stuff. That's what this reminds me of. It makes some layers. I heard yellow is cleansing color. Here's the first candle. Look at them drips. That's from this this weird thing. You just kind of like stick it in there. Oh, so this is my first candle of positive energy. Yeah. I got two more. And then we'll get to light them and see what it's like. I shut this. Thought I shut this. I didn't have this here. Did the cats do that? I'm hoping these candles really help. Oh, look at the time. I gotta feed the animals some lunch, or they're gonna have me for lunch. So let me go do that real quick. I'll be right back and we'll finish these other two candles. All right. Guess I'm getting a white candle. Oh, I'm getting cat hair in this candle. That's great. Or is that a stew hair? Yeah, it's curly. Well, white is the color of purity. It's a good sign, perhaps. It's the color of a ghost, too. Um, yeah, this is really weird. kind of relaxing. Oh, wow. But check it out. Look at all the beautiful colors. 
That's kind of nice. Actually, that's not bad at all. All right. So, uh, I feel like this one should get some more color. So, uh, we'll top it off. Yeah. Cinema! Where did the player come from? Where did the player come from? What? It does make the room look bigger. Again. Guys, you don't understand what I'm going through. I did not put that there. How'd that get there? <coughs> oh no! I'm going through the gigs. Stu has been going through the gigs harder than you can ever imagine. But I'm not gonna let these gigs go through me. No! I'm gonna light these candles. We're gonna say a little prayer together. All right, let's light these candles and see what happens. Here we go. We're gonna light the, the one I didn't make. All right. Uh, what should I say? I, I'm not an expert in this kind of area. Is there a certain chant I should say? What did they say in those some of their movies? Necros, Dominos, Lactos, and Tararos. Here we go. Spirits of the house of Casa de Stu. How are you? What's going on? Because let me tell you, a lot is going on. And it makes me a little nervous. So, uh, Spirits, if you can hear me, give me a sign or talk to me. I'm an open, honest kind of guy. You could talk to me. What's going on? Do you have some unfinished business? Is there something I can help you with? What is it? Or are you just bored and like hanging out? Because if that's the case... Let me know, what's your favorite movie? We'll watch it tonight. You've been hanging out in my house a couple days now and doing some things I don't appreciate. And I'd like it to stop. So by the time I blow out the fifth candle, I'd like you to leave. One, two, three, four, Not extinguishing. <gasps> that one took a little bit of work. The candles have been distinguished. It's kind of quiet in the house now. Yeah. Yeah. I think it worked. Yeah. I think we're okay. Yeah, so uh, I think I'm gonna hit the head real quick and then I'll come back and I'll clean this up. And then, uh, I'm gonna make me a sandwich. All right, I'll be right back. I gotta go to the bathroom. All right, let me clean up all this stuff. Let me get these candles and clean up. All right, well, thanks for what? What? <laughs>